and, and they say, get defrocked. And someone goes, well, he's defrocked. But the problem with being defrocked means that no one knows where they are. And, you know, we had a case in Virginia where someone was part of the New York grand jury and 12 kids testified he abused him. Well, then he was allowed, he was allowed to resign. He ended up in Virginia, unsuspectingly, living in a trailer park where kids were going in and out of his trailer. And so, you know, that's frightening to me. It's frightening that these priests can disappear and then they live in communities where no one knows where they are. And, you know, parents can't take precautions from what they don't know. In, in four states, they have created what they call the civil window. There uh, is one in Hawaii, there's been one in Delaware, one in California, and one in Minnesota. The one in Minnesota and the one in Hawaii are both still open. What it allows to, to do is a vi any victim of child sex crimes, by a priest or anyone else, has a certain amount of time, and like the window in Minnesota is three years, to come forward and file a civil lawsuit. And then, you know, the burden of proof is still on the victim. But those windows allow predators' names to be made public so that the community is warned. You have no idea who's living in your community. And many times there's multiple allegations and quite a lot of proof. And at least that gives the community some warning, some way to protect the children. <laughs> I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. And welcome back. Now, fresh off the heels of the UN General Assembly, the consensus is sort of that the president of the United States has effectively turned Putin into the world's new most powerful leader. Putin, of course, is taking the lead in the fight against ISIS. Meanwhile, the president says he's gonna be enlisting the help of Snapchat to fight these terrorists. ISIS, meanwhile, is apparently planning a nuclear tsunami. And here with more on that, joining me is Joe Biggs. So Snapchat, really? Yeah. That's how they're going to defeat ISIS. Right. <laughs> President Selfie Stick is going to win the war on terror. We're going to defeat one of the largest terrorist organizations ever. And then we're going to counter that by using Snapchat. That's brilliant. Yeah, counter their propaganda. <laughs> well, I came into this morning and started going through the news cycle like always. One of the most interesting stories I thought out to, uh, was out today was an article up by Washington Times, the headline, ISIS planning nuclear tsunami. And it said that a uh, journalist, a German guy named Jürgen Todenhofer, spent 10 days with him. So I went in and I found some of his work and he wrote a book called Inside IS, 10 Days Inside the Islamic State. And what this guy did is he found someone over there, contacted him and said, hey, can I come over here? Can I uh, you know, embed with you guys, see what's going on, try to give you guys some fair coverage. 
And so far, this has been the first Western journalist to in bed with IS and not be killed. And he came back and wrote some really amazing stuff about this group. And in the article today, he says the terrorists plan on killing several hundred million people. The West is drastically underestimating the power of ISIS. ISIS intends on getting its hand on nuclear weapons and uh, preparing for the largest religious cleansing in history. history. And this is all because of an illegal war in Iraq that the Bush administration had us go do, one that I fell for after 9-11 and signed up and joined and went over there. It's crazy what's going on over there mm -hmm. right now. People under, have to understand that these people over there hated the Taliban. They hated all these different groups of insurgents. And then the West came in and started dropping bombs and coming in and then taking over and, you know, putting in curfews and all this stuff. Who are you then going to hate more? Are you going to hate the Taliban, Al-Qaeda? Are you going to hate the U.S. troops, the Western allies that are coming in and bombing, supposedly supposed to hitting these terrorist targets, but instead with collateral damage, taking out civilians, kids, mosques, right. schools, all this stuff. So we've created this. Now we have to deal with it. And you it know, doesn't seem like we really are. Well, I mean, everyone always wants to go, well, don't you mean CIA ASIS, uh, Al Qaeda ASIS? You know, and I always hear that every time I post anything about, it. yeah, it's just like if you and I, if we had a child or something and that child grows up at 18 years old, we can't control that kid anymore. It can do whatever it wants, move around, make its own decisions. It could be a doctor or it could be a mass murder. We can't control it. We created ISIS. It's now gotten to such a point that it's out of control and they do have the capabilities to get nuclear weapons. Right. It's and not especially too far with lifting beyond. sanctions in the region, they're effectively creating an arms race, a nuclear arms race. Exactly. And the thing is, is, you know, we've gone and shown people time and time again that the, the, the borders of the South are wide open. You know, we mm -hmm. I've gone over dressed up like an ISIS jihadi. I've walked over in civilian clothes. It is very possible for ISIS to come across bringing some sort of nuclear weapon and detonating at the southern border, some big city. Who knows? But it's definitely a possibility. And people shouldn't ignore it whatsoever. It's not fear mongering. It's us looking and going, all right, it's possible. Let's deal with it. Let's talk about it. Well, so then we're creating this, all this aggression in the area. So what do you think about the fact that uh, Judicial Watch obtained uh, these documents revealing that the Obama administration gave as many as 1,519 terrorists asylum in the United States? They, they, there was a zero tolerance law in effect and the federal government sort of waived it and created an exercise of authority. So it would allow someone to argue, oh, well, I, I joined this terrorist group or I propped up this terrorist group or I did all of that criminal activity under duress. And then so the government can say, oh, well, they don't pose a threat now. They're refugees. Bring them on in. And of course, we're seeing that with this. But if you see a, a soldier of a war who commits a crime under duress based off PTSD, He's thrown in jail. He's not given his uh, insurance or anything like that, his health care. So that's completely out of control that we're going to allow these people come in. And we already know that there's going to be ISIS throughout the country already. There's already sleeper cells. I mean, that's what they anybody say. can sit down and say, all right, I want to be part of ISIS and completely just several people transfer like over. Committing attacks and then saying that they did it on behalf of ISIS. This is the thing. This is what people need to remember. Not the fact that ISIS can bring in nuclear weapons or gain nuclear uh, abilities from other countries like buying a bomb. We have missing nuclear weapons here right. in the country right. that are already here. Where are those at? Those, you know, sleeper cells that are sitting around that are controlled by the government, how are they going to get access? If they all of a sudden get access to one in like New Hampshire or something like that, where did that come from? Did that really come from overseas or is that one missing from, you know, South Carolina or Georgia, one of the nuclear right. depots or whatever? Well, not to mention how easy it is to bring, bring a nuclear weapon or something like that across the border in parts. It, it would be very simple to just bring supplies, means across the border. Our country is clearly not ready to deal with this in the correct manner whatsoever. You know, they think uh, you got Donald Trump out there saying, we're going to build a wall. We'll yeah, stop the immigrants. We've seen the they're wall. trying to take our jobs. I mean, <laughs> they're going to dig a tunnel on it. They're going to drive over it. They're going to cut it down with a settling gas torch, put it back up and weld it. I mean, we've got more things that we need to worry about from within that we need to fix our government is allowing this stuff to happen and it continues to happen. And today, U.S. Or Daily Mail exclusive revealed American jihadi is top ISIS commander. Yazidi slave reveals that she was beaten and held captive by U.S. citizen who directs attacks and keeps vial of poison to kill himself if he is caught. Yeah. Another piece of the puzzle to show our involvement in what's going on. 
this terror, the fact that the FBI is coming out all the time. So don't go out on the 4th of July. There might be a terrorist attack mm -hmm. to try to keep you scared, to keep you in the state of fear every day from something that they created and allowed, just like with Whitey Bulger. Whitey Bulger was a bad guy, but the FBI allowed him to move freely and do that. And only until he got caught did they start coming out going, oh no, he was actually an FBI informant to save face. Right. Well, that's the whole order out of chaos. They're effectively creating all of this chaos. So then people go to the government, to the state, please protect us, please help us, please provide us with welfare. We can't feed our kids. We don't have any jobs. The economy is a wreck. Now there's terrorists everywhere. Please save us. And we're seeing it happen on a global scale. And now you're right. It's it's to the point now where the, the, we've created a monster. We can't control it anymore. There is no controlling of this. And, and um, this author talks about how ISIS has fanatic fans who are just wanting to join them. Hundreds a day are just clamoring to join this terrorist group. And of course, on the one hand, they're putting out really effective propaganda, uh, telling telling people how great it is once you uh, join their join the Islamic State, their caliphate. And, um, you know, so the president, of course, is wanting to use Snapchat and HBO and all of these other means to counter all that propaganda and show you've the got reality a lot of, of it. You've but. got a lot of people out here in the country who really think that the people overseas are a bunch of dumb qu uh, cave dwellers who, you know, go around and hurdle, you know, uh, you know, farm sheep and all this stuff and goats and all this stuff. The times that I was in Iraq and Afghanistan, when we caught terrorists, these guys were doctors, chemists, physicists, things like this, who worked in universities in Pakistan and other right. countries. They weren't stupid people, very intelligent people. And his time over there, he said that the Islamic State is drenched in almost infectious enthusiasm and confident of victory. ISIS fighters are convinced that their totalitarian faith and de demonstrative brutality will help them move mountains. Now, less than 400 ISIS fighters took out 25,000 Iraqi soldiers and militias despite their ultra modern equipment. Wow. And they couldn't fight them because we funded yeah. ISIS with right. better and equipment. They had to leave all of their military equipment behind, which of course then ISIS scoops up. And to them, they're probably thinking that that's, you know, an act of Allah or whatever that is protecting them. And so they're, you know, that's why they have these people, uh, you know, just joining them fanatically, which is pretty frightening. Well, big Definitely thing. gonna keep an eye on it. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice in this matter. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining me here tonight. And thank you all for watching the show. That's it for us. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you can also become a subscriber to prisonplanet.tv. Your subscription there will get you instant access to over 18 years worth of content. It's all high def. You're not going to find it on YouTube. And of course, you can share your username and password with up to 20 people at the same time. And we definitely appreciate your support. So thank you so much, and we will see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.